hey guys welcome back today's video is all about clipper cuts i demoed a haircut on one of my students and i hope you guys enjoy so anytime i start a ball fade i always start with stamping in that zero so i start with a zero blade and i just put the lowest part of the haircut in first from that point on i just blend on up The shortest part of his haircut is a zero. The longest part of this fade is a two guard. So I just follow the guards or the steps in between. So two, one and a half, one, a half, and our half guard brings us back to our zero. My model hasn't had a haircut in quite some time, so I'm just gonna go through and trim the top. He has very coarse, thick, um, wavy hair, so layering it is always going to help those waves lay a bit better. Um, I'm elevating his hair at 90 degrees. I'm taking off about a good inch or so. Um, because his hair is very thick and is very coarse, you're gonna see some texturizer towards the end where I loosen up his curls and loosen up his waves. So my model normally wears his hair flipped over to this side. So at this point, I'm just dusting off the perimeter. It was important that he kept his length, but he just wanted to kind of free up the waves and put some layers in the top, but keep it all that length. So that's, I'm kind of cross-checking and making sure that all my pieces and parts of my haircut meet up. And again, you see me going in with this razor, kind of breaking up those waves. Again, his hair is very dense and very heavy. So me creating some interior movement with the razor just kind of loosens up his curls. So when he scrunches his hair or styles his hair, his hair can move freely. So my model also wears a hard part. Uh, me personally, I always stamp that in at the very end. <laughs> 